What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video, I want to talk about how to make any martial art work. So before I get into it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel already. Thank you very much, so let's get right into it. So I got to thinking and a lot of times we, we talk about this art doesn't work, this art works better and so on and so on and there's a lot of criticism regarding conceptual martial arts. Martial arts, when I say conceptual, I mean martial arts that don't have any sparring or at least don't have any 100% um, sparring, you know, because they, the techniques are, well, if too, too dangerous, you know, in the sense that you can't be eye poking someone and punching them in the throat and like breaking their knees, uh, you know, when you're practicing with your, your, uh, your partner, right? So, how do you get these arts to work? Because if it works in concept, it means there's got to be a way to make it work because everything starts off in, in our minds, in, in a concept. And then from there, well, we have to do certain things to it, in my opinion, uh, to make it work. Okay, so the first thing is understanding the context in which the martial art was created. It's very important. That way we'll understand why certain moves are done the way they're done. You know, it's not just to look nice. It's, it's, it's because there's a, there's a reason for it. So we have to understand why. So we have to understand, we have to look at when it was invented, what period, what kind of warfare was going on. How, how were these guys fighting? Were they fighting with weapons, on a horse, on a boat, in the dark, in the woods? In, you know, like, it, it, it changes because of that, right? And then the second thing is that once we understand the context of where, how and why the art was invented, okay, the way it is, then we have to look at the techniques itself, so the concepts, okay? So once we understand these concepts, okay, now we go on to the third step. So the third step would be, well, we gotta tweak it, right? We gotta tweak, we gotta adapt these concepts so they actually, so they can work, okay, against other art forms, right? Like, I, I hope I'm, I'm making sense here. So we have to adapt it. We, we can't just stick with the concept and think that it's gonna be applicable um, to, in all, in all circumstances, against other, other forms of, uh, of fighting, other forms, other martial arts, okay? So once we do that, we have to tweak it now the last thing, this is the fourth thing, the fourth thing, right, that I thought of is that to really make this work, okay, because I'll, we, we have to agree on something here. I think you'll agree with me. No martial art is perfect, right? Th there is none that's perfect. S like some are, might have bigger holes than others to be filled, but none of them, is, none of them are perfect. So what I suggest, what I'm proposing in this fourth um, part here, okay, the last part, as, as of now, you know, things always change and evolve, but why don't we take from there, once the, the concepts are tweaked so that I could, they, I could actually work against other martial arts so that they could work better, okay, and be more uh, if, effective and efficient, then what we do is that I think we should start mixing in concepts of other martial arts. Now, that's nothing new, okay? That's nothing new. Like Jit Kune Do, MMA, I mean, everybody's mixing everything. So, but I'm talking here specifically about taking an art that's, that doesn't have a lot of sparring, that, that's more in concept so that we can make it work. And so this last part here is to mix in other concepts of other sports to fill in the holes. So that way we make this martial art, okay, that we practice universally, universally functional. You see what I'm getting at? So, okay, I'll give you guys a, an example, okay? Not, and, and remember, I'm not picking on any art in particular here, I'm just saying. So all you guys who are gonna go a little bit crazy here, uh, I'm not criticizing any art harshly, okay? So let's take for example Wing Chun, okay? Now, 
from my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, leave it down there in the comments. We could have a, a discussion about it. Okay, but Wing Chun, from my understanding, is that it was invented by a, 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 a nun, I think, a woman, okay? So she was, you know, she, she knew that she didn't have the physical strength to overpower a man. So, well, what is she going to do? She has to develop an art where it's, that's why it's rapid fire, okay? So she's striking quick and she's going for the vital signs and also, also, supposedly this art was, um, it was, it was made to be fought in very closed, uh, closed spaces, small places, you know, like on a boat, in the dark, on uneven terrain, in the woods, you know, so you have to be up close and personal and sometimes your vision, uh, wasn't, you know, maybe it was dark or whatnot. So that's why, you know, I guess Chiu Sao, you know, Chiu Sao, right? Like, um, uh, sticky hands was invented so you could feel your way through it and you can you know so that's how now if the if the art was invented under this this context then where do we go from there okay so now we understand why um it is the way it is now we look at the techniques and we have to understand the techniques and obviously um if you're if you're studying wing chun and practicing it and and you, you know, your, your, your Sifu should be able to explain you why the techniques are done this way. Now, once that's established and you understand why they throw a punch, uh, it, you know, in this way and at this angle and so on, like I've never really trained, I never trained in Wing Chun, so I wouldn't be able to tell you, but you guys get the idea. So then from there, okay, you have to take this concept and you have to tweak it. You have to adapt it so that it could actually work against someone who's not practice doing wing, fighting Wing Chun against you, somebody who, let's say, is a boxer, okay? So you would have to adapt it. But now, keeping in mind that Wing Chun was developed to fight at close range and maybe in a closed space where your, your opponent can't be running around all over the place and using footwork on you, then, okay, you have to say that, that okay, well, I have to use this up close against a boxer. So maybe if I have a... a I have them up against the rope or in the corner of the ring or a wall or, you know, then yes, I'll be able to, uh, to use a lot of the techniques here. And I probably have to modify it because, you know, the boxers, they, they punch and they, they protect uh, a different way than Wing Chun. Okay. So once we, once we're done with that, okay. So now how do we fill in the holes here? Because one of the holes that I see with Wing Chun is that, um, this is once again just my understanding of it is that they're not very mobile. The footwork is is not there. Now, okay, even though it, when it at the time it was invented, maybe the footwork wasn't that necessary, right? It, you know, you didn't have um, how do you say it as much space to jump around. Maybe it was on a boat, so you can't be jumping around all over the place, uneven terrain in the dark. You know, you don't not enough uh, space, so you can't be jumping around and and backing up, going to side to side, and, and you know, none of that. So, but if you're fighting, if you want to adapt it against um, a boxer or any martial arts, let's say you want to adapt it to, uh, to cage fighting, right? Or in the ring. Well, guess what? Now you have to take a concept from one of these arts, okay? And you have to incorporate footwork into your Wing Chun, right? So there you go. So that's just a, a simple, example of uh, of what I think we we would be able to do if we applied these four um, concepts here these four ideas that I have okay so that we can make any martial art work so whatever you're doing now just keep doing it but maybe we could add this okay we could add these four things here so that you can make it work you don't have to just like uh, go off and just quit your art because you know because some people um, I find uh, it's hard on the morale. Let's say if you were training, you've been training your whole life in a conceptual art, right? And then all of a sudden you discover that it's not as, as effective as, as you thought. It doesn't work as well as you thought, but it's not that it doesn't work. It does, but once again, it's a question of context. So you can make it work. You can make it work. You just have to be open to... Uh, tweaking a little bit and maybe adding 
in a little bit um, extra concepts from other arts so you could incorporate it and then you can keep being um, a Wing Chun guy if you're doing Wing Chun but you know this is your Wing Chun but it's a little bit modified and adapted so it works in the uh, the so-called modern world so that's it for this uh, this video guys I hope that was interesting I hope that was uh, maybe a little bit insightful helpful to you if you are practicing um, you know, and, and even uh, like a conceptual martial art that's more conceptual than, than practical. That's what I mean, okay? I didn't say it doesn't work. I said that in, a, in one of my videos before, but I actually took that video off because I, I had a change of heart. And over time, um, I think I've... This is for another video, but I, I'll explain in another video how I'm coming. I feel as though I'm coming full circle in my, in my martial arts journey. But coming full circle doesn't mean that it's ending. It just means that it just starts again, right? But at least if you, you do a full circle and, and, and you've seen a lot and you've experienced a lot, then you come to realize that we, we all could learn from each other. Um, the practical, uh, com practical martial arts and the conceptual martial arts. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you guys like comment you know uh subscribe to the channel share it obviously if uh if you think that other people or someone you know wants to would would be would be interested in hearing this uh this message here so that's it guys uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much peace